Okay, so in this video, I am going to give you my um, opinions on two different brands of caulk and using baby powder. Um, and this one has, I don't think it matters, but vitamin E and aloe, but it's just simple cornstarch in here and regular cooking or baking cornstarch. Okay, so... Um, the samples that I made using these two items, the all-purpose caulk and the baby powder, the working time was a lot more. Um, I'm, I'm gonna guesstimate between 15 and 20 minutes before you could take an impression. You know, the working time to make it um, into a dough-like consistency and then impressing on it, it was smoother it took impressions better, uh, in my opinion, and you had more working time, uh, at least 10 more minutes before um, it would start to harden and, um, you know, kind of spoil, all right? This quick seal and the Argo cornstarch, uh, corn um, I did use some baby powder with one of the quick seals and there still was less working time with a quick seal it took about five minutes to work it and then you only had a, literally a couple more minutes to use it before it started to crack and crumble when you uh, pressed your sample so it wasn't as smooth so i don't know if that has to do with the cornstarch I, I don't know but both of these do not have silicone one in them okay so it's silicone one and cornstarch if you want to make like a rubbery type mold but the smell is awful because it um it degasses uh acetic acid and that is just a horrific thing it makes your eyes water it makes your nose water it burn yeah not good and you you really need to do it um, outside or in a very well ventilated area respirator the whole the whole shebang okay and wear protection this stuff odorless uh, literally odorless um, it it played just like play-doh um, and I was very pleased with it it cleaned up with water and I did a little research because in both of these there really is no ingredient list on it. So I just Googled it. And what I discovered was that um, it is an acrylic latex base. And so if you're allergic to, to um, either of those, either acrylic or latex, probably not a good idea to play with these unless you wear, you know, protection or whatever. So you know, do this at your own risk, but, but this is non-toxic. Okay. It's only for people that have allergies to latex that I would recommend you use, um, precautions with it. So <clears throat> anyway, these are my impressions. And, um, in the next segment, I will get to the samples and, um, and then at the very end, I'll pull some prints and you can see how these react. I have to wait till they fully cure. So I thought I could do it within 24 hours, but it looks like it's gonna take a couple days to cure. So I will catch you later and um, hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye-bye. Okay, welcome back. So I went ahead and I made a few more um, examples of these uh, permanent texture plates and if you recall I had two different brands this particular one used a DAP quick seal again this is not silicone it is a latex acrylic blend and uh, for this one I used cornstarch because I ran out of my um, baby powder and so uh, this template was made with hot glue. Now I just put it on some parchment uh, and then I pressed it on here. But this is what this is looking like. And I will tell you that 
uh, with the cornstarch and this dab. You had less working time and it cracked quite a bit. So this isn't dry yet. In fact, I just made it about a half an hour ago. And uh, I'm just gonna pop on to show you these examples of what I used. Again, this is cornstarch, um, hot glue, and dap quick seal. Okay. Okay, this sample was made with dap quick seal, cornstarch, and a paper die cut. Um, I had to use, if you notice the pencil marks in here, because when I went to roller it out, it wasn't a clear definition, but I put it on top of there. I embedded it deeper with the pencil lines, and I used a pencil because um, then you can tell where you made the indentation. So this one turned out really well. But again, um, I made this a half an hour ago, so it's gonna take overnight to dry. Or maybe this afternoon, I'm not sure. Okay. This sample was made with cornstarch, the DAP Quick Seal, and a plain old plastic fork. And this is what this one looks like. Not fully dry, but you can tell with the uh, DAP Quick Seal and the cornstarch that it, it does have, how could I put it? it, it it's subject to more cracking or crumbling. Uh, like see, this is real smooth here. Sorry for the lighting, but this is work too much. So you don't have the working time as with the other ones. Let's get to the other samples. This sample is, um, literally fresh off the press so um, it's quite damp underneath here and this was made with the dap quick seal the argo cornstarch cornstarch and a bunch of uh, plastic coated paper clips that were just embedded in there and so with these samples um, i have plenty of um, of templates so I mean, I have like, I don't know, 75, 80 of stuff like this. So, you know, there's no sense duplicating it. So I wanted to do things that I don't have that I thought would make a, a good impression. And this sample was made from aluminum foil and the tool bench brand of all-purpose caulk and baby powder instead of just regular cornstarch. So this has an interesting texture to it. This had more working time with this all-purpose caulk and the baby powder, um, which I found pretty amazing than it did with the uh, Dab Quick Seal. And like the previous sample, this was also made with the all-purpose caulk and the baby powder. And I used bubble wrap to get these little berry looking things and um, just impressed this on the caulk to get all of these cool little impressions here. So it's more like a debossed effect. Now, um, the last two samples had been drying for about, I'm guessing 13 hours. So we'll get to the uh, last one I believe that I have. Okay, and for this last sample, which is actually my second uh, sample from the original one here that I had taken. Remember this experiment here? This is just plain um, all-purpose caulk from the tool bench brand. Okay, no cornstarch, nothing. So it is pretty rubbery, but this is fully dried and it took um, maybe two days to dry, okay? A day and a half, two days. So this sample was made from the baby powder, the all-purpose caulk, and some lace impressions. And you can see that these turned out really well.
So the, in the next segment, I will uh, pull some prints on a jelly plate and we'll see how these um, hold up uh, when uh, treated with water to do the cleanup. I don't, it's not dry yet, so I don't want to crack it, uh, but it is pretty substantial. And hopefully, hopefully it will be flexible, as flexible as this one when it is fully cured. All right, so um, we will see you in the next segment. And um, yeah, this is going to be cool.